Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. And I am here today actually in Kissimmee, just outside of Fun Spot and Old Town. And I uh, thought I'd show you guys around here a little bit. But before I do that, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick recap and, and kind of see how things are going because yes, this is an RV channel and we are in the process of looking at RVs. We're starting to get super serious into, um, you know, what do we want here in the next few months? Cause we are hopefully going to be on the road by the end of January and we cannot wait. We are so excited. So just again, quick update, you know, we're looking at still at the class C's, um, pretty much have an idea of what we want. So we've been looking around and actually found a pretty cool Facebook channel um, that, or uh, sorry, Facebook channel, I should say a Facebook group that uh, they are just strictly class C and people sell and all those things, talk about their RVs. And I'm really, um, you know, looking at some of those and, and just kind of learning from that process. And soon we're gonna have some cool videos coming up um, about, you know, inspections of an RV and things like that, and hopefully we can stay in one. So if somebody in the Kissimmee, uh, Orlando area knows of someone that has a Class C that wouldn't mind uh, showing us around and giving us a tour of their Class C, do me a favor, message us. Um, I'll put our email on here so you guys can message us and let us know if they wouldn't mind showing us around and showing us what a Class C looks like. Um, we were thinking about going to that uh, the Hershey uh, RV show up in Pennsylvania, but Guys, we've got a, a wedding coming up in December. Our youngest daughter's getting married. So that's taking precedence over everything. So we're saving for that, making sure that she's gonna have a wonderful wedding. Um, and then of course, you know, we're trying to save our, making sure that we have uh, what we need in order to get an RV. Now, we are not going you, or uh, sorry, I should say, we are not getting a new RV. Um, that's probably the biggest comments that we get is, don't get a new RV, we're gonna get a used one. So I want to stay somewhere in like say 2015 range, you know, no, no older than that. But you guys let me know, what do you guys think is, you know, how far back um, do you think is, is too far? You know, there's some ones out there that look really nice that are actually in the early 2000s. But, you know, anytime I mention something that to people that are doing this and this lifestyle, um, they're telling like, no, that's just too old. Look at something 2015 or, 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 soon, or, or younger. So just let me know in the comments what you guys think. And check this out, that's a roller coaster behind me. Again, we're out at the fun spot. That's that slingshot. I'll show you guys that here in a few minutes um, and just kind of walk around and see what's going on here. And uh, I don't know of any RV areas. There's probably not a good place to park an RV. Um, right now, it's not bad because it's uh, it's in the middle of the day, but usually at you know on the weekends, this place is absolutely insane. There's no parking whatsoever. I pulled up right away and you know, there's, no, there's no one here. So. Let's go check this place out and uh, hopefully you guys will like it. So I'm here at Fun Spot America, which is attached to Old Town. Now there's a couple of fun spots. There's one here in, in Kissimmee, the other one's in Orlando. But check this thing out. That's that massive ride here. Let's see if I can get around so you can see where the, get into this little thing way up here. Hold on a second, let me show you what you get into. So you see this, Put you in that and then they shoot you out of there and you basically just swing all the way up there back and forth until the ride is over there is no way on god's green earth that i would do something like that it's craziness but this is the fun spot so it's basically almost like a like a carnival of sorts but of course it's here year round pretty cool it's got a lot of rides you just get tickets and things like that and from what I understand I think this ride might be closed but I don't know and like no one's here I don't even think that they're really open yet and then over here it's Bigfoot check that sucker out that thing is huge that's been here forever I remember it being here a long time when we uh when we first moved to uh, Central Florida, this was here. So it's been here for quite a while. Yeah. Check out this chair. The chair's huge. I thought I'd walk up a little closer so you can see how big these tires are. But here's a, tells you of course, do, do not climb. But it's 15 feet, three inches, I think that is. I don't know. Uh, with 
weight is 28,000 pounds, but check that out. Patrick Swayze, this thing was on Roadhouse back in the day. So yeah, look how huge this thing is. Got a hungry hippo here. So this is actually from inside Fun Spot, but it tells you like where the entrances are for Old Town. But yeah, so Old Town is right here on the other side, but we'll be in there in just a minute. I just wanted to get closer so you guys can see how high this thing is. What do you guys think? Comment. Have you ever done anything like this? Because there is just no way. And then it just, when it starts from up there, it lifts you all the way up there and then it just swings all the way across. Look how high that is. Yeah, there's no way. And then it just kind of brings you down. And I think this is where they pick you up and drop you off right here in this area, little area. So, yeah. That's the fun spot. All right, we're actually in Old Town. This place is really cool. Now, like I said, right now, there's not a lot of people down here. So it looks, uh, you know, pretty relaxing, which it is. There's already some restaurants open and all that stuff. But this place is crazy on the weekends and then they have these car shows here so these cars actually drive on these roads um classic cars and things like that that come along so if you're in the area you need to come check those out look it up they always have another schedule online and you could come check out some classic cars that drive along this road this is the mortem manor haunted house it's right here on the street here check this place out they did a really good job putting this thing together scareflorida.com you can get tickets in here and come check this place out so this is what i'm talking about the muscle car show and cruise is every friday 3 p.m that they have through here and then they have uh, karaoke you guys can you love karaoke every tuesday and thursday night from 7 to 11. oh yeah and then there's their website so you can check out and see what other events they have here so they have an a and w here how crazy is that I don't even remember the last time I've been to an a &W. Yeah, that's really cool. Can't eat here though. But yeah, pretty neat. So I got a couple mar merry-go-rounds for kids. And I remember the old Scrambler. I used to love that ride. Now I actually rode this thing several years ago with my kids, my brother and his kids. And uh Probably would never do it again, but a little smaller than that other one that's over there. Yeah, so lots of stuff here for kids and families and things like that. There's the Old Town Roads right there. And right, even right now, there's shops that are open. So you could come in, eat. There's some restaurants that are open, gift shops and stuff like that that are here that uh, you can enjoy. So, man, I'll tell you, I would come here during the day if you want to enjoy some of this stuff. And, you know, check out some other videos out there of what it's like here at night, um, especially on the weekends, and you'll see the difference. But it's very quiet here. It's very nice. This is the Old Town General Store, estimated 1986. But they sell some Old Town merch here. I bet you this sign looks pretty cool at night. Looks like it's got neon all over it. So again, check it out. Nobody here. This is fantastic. My favorite time to be out and about when there aren't tourists all over the place. <laughs> so, I mean, eventually we're going to be the tourist. But we're locals, so. Yeah, this is pretty neat here. There's an arcade over here, too. And for all you folks from New York, check this out. They've got a Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs here. It'd be cool if they had that hot dog eating contest here as well. But yeah, here's this just a small area here just in front. Right in front of you is uh, US 192. So to the left, which is actually west, is Disney World. It's not too far up the road. And uh, yeah, so check out that. There's a Ferris wheel right there, but there's, there's Slingshot. Oh my goodness. So my oldest daughter and my niece did that several years ago. No way I would do that. And this other ride that's right here. I wish they were going right now. I'm going to walk up there to see if anybody's going to be doing it. Uh, yeah, you, you got you got to have a different spirit to be uh, doing one of these things. So 
yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to get me on a ride called the Vomitron. So this is it right here. So two people sit right there. They bring you all the way to the top. You can get two people up there and then this thing starts to swing and spin really, really, really fast. And yeah, there is no way. And nobody's here for the slingshot, unfortunately, but you can see that here. And you can see how tall this thing is and how high this thing goes. So if you're into that kind of stuff, there you go. And then after you're done, swing on over and get some checkers. It's right next door. If you like checkers, that is. It was so, it's still cool to see a lot of these uh, hotels and motels that are still standing from a long time ago. This is right next door to Old Town. So, you know, back in the day before all the major resorts were out there, um, you know, this is where people used to stay to be near Disney World. So now a lot of them either they're condos or, you know, long-term living and things like that. So, yeah, this one's called Celebration Suites. And it's literally right next door. So imagine staying there and then you got this thing going off all night long. But yeah, so this is Old Town. So this is US 192. So going left of the screen, that's again heading towards Disney. So that's west side over there. Um, just a little bit further, maybe another 15 minutes and you'll actually get into the Disney entrances there. And then across the road over here, again, we're still in Old Town. You get to see this place here called World Food Truck. Listen, I would love to go over there, but I would be too tempted. If you guys are watching our other channel, Mission Keto, I'm on a carnivore diet. Actually, right now I'm on the lion diet and losing a lot of weight. So go check that out, Mission Keto. But if it was other days, I would be over there in a heartbeat. And then heading this direction is, uh, you know, you're, we're in Kissimmee, um, but that's the way you're heading towards, you know, deeper into Kissimmee, St. Cloud, and then you just keep on going east, you get to Melbourne and all that stuff. And then northbound is Orlando. So yeah, and then these old gift shops. I remember when I was a kid and we would drive up here from West Palm Beach, this is how we knew we were getting close to Disney when we would start seeing all these old gift shops that are, it's really cool that they're all still around. So yeah, it's changed quite a bit from when I was a kid when we would drive through here. But yeah, there, so that's, this is US-192. And this thing's got like several different names. Up here, I think it's US-192. Then you have Vine Street. You have East Earl of Bronson. East Earl of Bronson Memorial Parkway. 13th Street when you get into St. Cloud. And I think it turns into 192 from there. So yeah, this, this street has got a lot, a lot, a lot of names. And then Celebration is a little further up that way as well. This is the main entrance into Old Town as well. You guys can see it right off of 192. So you go over there, parking's over that way. You can park in here somewhere, but parking is not as much when you go straight. And usually this is a little more packed again. It wasn't bad today, but yeah, this is the entrance. Now this is the other way you could get in here. So again, there's US 192, Florida Plaza Boulevard. If you turn here, there's parking alongside the road. And then some of these places like this Pizza Hut and this Red Lobster over there during the weekends, when it's super crazy in here and you can't get parking, they'll charge you like 20 bucks or something like that if you wanted to park in their, in their parking lots. I'm not sure if the Burger King does that, but I'm pretty positive that Red Lobster does and most likely in this place, although they don't really have a lot of parking in here either. So not really sure if they would do it or not, but Red Lobster for sure, they've got a nice, uh, they've got a nice size parking lot over there. And if you're in the mood for some miniature golf, they have these here as well, the Pirate's Cove Adventure Golf. Check that place out there too. There's so much to do here, guys. I highly, highly recommend it if you got little kids and stuff like that. And it's probably more affordable to come here than it is to Disney World and Universal Studios and all that other stuff. So you can get tickets and plenty of food in here, plenty of entertainment, and you'll definitely get your money's worth here at Old Town and Fun Spot. Now this place is an absolute treasure here in Kissimmee and Central Florida. And unfortunately they caught fire um, in the back in their main store a few months ago, but they're rebuilding. But this is one of those landmarks that we would find on our way in when we were kids that we knew we were getting close to Disney. So you can get them here and get some freshly squeezed orange juice and some merch. It's right over there. And I think, like I said, their main store was in the back, but that's what caught fire. But yeah, you could come here. It's right off 192, which is right over here. 
there's Orange World, 53.95. All right, so I had to stop here. This place is pretty awesome. It's one of those gift shops that, like I said, back in the day when you would see these, you knew you were getting close to Disney World. But we are gonna go inside and check this place out. Super, super, super cool. So you can get some super cool Disney merch here and not pay those crazy park prices. Look at that, $16.99. This shirt probably in Disney is like 50 bucks. So, but yeah, you can check it out. They've got stuff all over there. That's Disney merch. But yeah, you can see they've got stuff for just Orlando in general. So a really good gift shop. You can get in here and not pay some crazy prices. They got towels and everything here. This place is really cool. I think I've been here one time a long time ago, but a lot of cool stuff. And man, it is super cheap. They got some great prices, even on the 2XL stuff. Really, really inexpensive. They got some bags here if you needed some luggage. Yeah, it has pretty much everything you need in here. Bathing suits, good place to stop for sure. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun in there. Got a little bit of video in there. Uh, didn't want to be dis disrespectful to the uh, other customers and of course the employees, but I got four shirts in there, two for me, two for Hope, and I only spent 40 bucks with taxes. I couldn't get one shirt at Disney World for that amount. So it's awesome that they still have these awesome prices here in these small gift shops outside of uh, the Disney resorts and all that other stuff. So definitely a place to check out. Again, it's on 192. There is the address, US 192 in Kissimmee. And there are quite a few of these along the, along the route. So something to check out if you're in this area. Guys, that wraps it up for the video. If there's something in this area, let's say in Kissimmee, uh, Orlando or something like that, that you would like to see, let me know and comment down in the description or you can send us an email, let me know. And I will be more than happy to go check it out for you guys. And, uh, but that's it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we will see you all soon. Take care.